Hi, welcome to Metro Vancouver Close Up, highlighting the sustainability leadership of Metro Vancouver members. Trees and shrubs on private and public lands are collectively known as urban forests. And a new guidebook outlining best practices has been developed with input from many local governments. One contributor was the Corporation of Delta, where a program is underway to preserve its tree canopy. And boulevards are one area where they're branching out. This urban um, canopy is really, really important for people to understand that we have to keep. It has to do with cleaning our air and, and many, many uh, healthy things. According to a 2014 study, Delta had lower than optimal tree canopy cover. The Corporation of Delta has since launched an urban reforestation plan. Our job has really now been to try and educate people, not only on the benefits of trees, but what it will be like uh, 5 and 10 and 15 and 50 years down the road. The general public, I think, they understand that there's a lot of environmental benefits associated with trees, but they don't really understand the scope. A big benefit is stormwater mitigation. That's directly proportionate to the size of the tree that we install. Uh, air quality in regards to particulate air pollution, as well as a number of other things like ozone. Wildlife habitat. There's a lot of socioeconomic benefits as well. We can limit the amount of maintenance required on asphalt simply by shading it. People shop longer on streets that have trees. Trees can contribute to the value of your properties. We really all benefit in the entire region with the continued planting and replacement of trees that are being taken down. When we have development take place, we require the developer to replace the trees two to one on a property if they are taken down. The taxpayer doesn't pay for all these rejuvenations and replantings. If they can't replace all of them on property, we take a certain amount of dollars in lieu of that tree. We amass the amount in a tree fund and go about to plant trees in people's yards, on boulevards, in parks. We're trying to create something that is sustainable. It offers the environmental benefits, but also the real benefit maybe is that the younger generation is going to interact with the trees. They're going to see squirrels, they're going to see birds, they're going to see a raccoon maybe. That is how we improve the urban environment going forward. 